శ్రీ సాయి స చరిత చాప్టర్ వన్ ఓబిఐ ఎస్ఏఎన్సి ఎస్ వందనం ప్రణామం ద స్టోరీ ఆఫ్ గ్రైండింగ్ వీట్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఫిలాసఫికల్ సిగ్నిఫికెన్స్ తాత్విక ప్రాముఖ్యత అకార్డింగ్ టు ద ఏన్షియంట్ రివర్డ్ కస్టమ్ హేమాట్ పన్ బిగన్స్ ద వర్క్ శ్రీ సాయి సచ్చరిత విత్ వేరియస్ శాలిటేషన్స్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఫస్ట్ హీ మేక్స్ ఓబిఐ ఎస్ఏఎన్సి వందనం ప్రణామం to the god ganesha god ganesha is son of lord shiva bears the head of an elephant and body of a human being when starting anything he is worshiped by the hindu to remove all obstacles and make the work a success and says that sri sai is god ganesh himself second then to goddess saraswati goddess of learning to inspire him to write the work and says that sri sai is one with this goddess and that he is himself singing his own life third then to the gods brahma vishnu and shankar the creating preserving and destroying deities devatalu respectively and says that sainad is one with them and he the great teacher will carry us across the river of worldly existence fourth one then to his tutelary t u t e l a r y shikshana poshinchunatti serving as a protector guardian or patron deity norolna adinad who manifested himself is in konkan the land reclaimed r e c l a i m e d tirigi pondyaru retrieve or recover something previously lost given or paid obtain the return of by parshuram one of the authors or incarnation of god before lord ram from the sea unto the adi original purush man of the family fifth then to bharadwas muni into whose gotra clan he was born and also to various rishis rutviks agnavalkya brugu parsha nara narad vedavyas sanak sanandan sanat kumar shuka shaunak iswamitra vasishta వాల్మీకి వామదేవ్ జైమిని వైశంపాయన్ నవయోగేంద్ర ఎక్సెట్రా అండ్ ఆల్సో మోడర్న్ సైన్స్ సచాస్ నివృత్తి జానదేవ్ సోఫాన్ ముక్తాబాయ్ జనార్దన్ ఏక్కనాథ్ నామదేవ్ తుకారాం కన్హ అండ్ నారయ్య నరహరి ఎక్సెట్రా దెన్ సిక్స్త్ వన్ టు హిస్ గ్రాండ్ ఫాదర్ సదాశివ్ ఫాదర్ రఘునాథ్ హిజ్ మదర్ who left him in his infancy to his paternal aunt who brought him up and to his loving elder brother seventh then to the readers and praise to them to give their whole and undivided attention to his work eighth and lastly to his guru shri sainath an incarnation manava shariram dharinchadam a person who embodies in the flesh a deity spirit or quality behavior of sai baba his yogic practice is all pervasiveness sarva vyapti spread throughout and affecting all parts of something of sri dattatreya who is his sole refuge ashram ponduvadu r e f u g e and who will make him realize that brahma is the reality and the world an illusion incidentally to all beings in whom the lord god dwells nevasisthundi d w e l l s after describing in brief the various modes of devotion according to parashar vyasa and shandilya etc the author goes on to relate the following story it was sometime after 1910 that i went one fine morning to the masjid in shirdi to have darshan of sai baba i was wonderstruck aacharya parichinadi emitante to see the following phenomena p h e n o m e n a arudaina drushti kanipinche paatra adbhutam visual event a fact or situation that is observed to exist or happen especially one whose cause or explanation is in question a remarkable person or thing after washing his mouth and face sri sai baba began to make preparations for grinding wheat his pradya sack gotam large bag made of strong cloth paper or plastic used to store large amounts of something on the floor and therefore there on set a hand mill 
తిరగలి హీ టుక్ సమ్ క్వాంటిటీ ఆఫ్ వీట్ ఇన్ ఏ విన్నోయింగ్ గోధుమను వేరు చేయు తూర్పారబట్టు విన్నోయింగ్ డబ్ల్యూఐఎన్ఎన్ఓ డబ్ల్యూఐఎన్జి ఫ్యాన్ అండ్ దెన్ డ్రాయింగ్ అప్ ద స్లీవ్స్ ఎస్ఎల్ఈఈవిఈఎస్ దుస్తులు చేయి భాగం ఆఫ్ హీస్ కఫ్ని రోబ్ పై గుడ్డ అండ్ టేకింగ్ హోల్డ్ ఆఫ్ ద పెగ్ పిఈజి పిడి తిరగలి పిడి హ్యాండిల్ ఎ షార్ట్ పిన్ ఆర్ బోల్ట్ of the hand mill cheti mara started grinding the wheat by putting a few handcuffs of wheat in the upper opening of the mill and rotated it i thought what business baba had with the grinding of wheat when he possessed nothing and stored nothing and as he lived in all arms alms bhiksha some people who had come there thought likewise but none had the courage to ask baba what he was doing immediately this news of baba grinding wheat spread it to the village and at once men and women ran to the masjid and flocked gumikoder there to see baba sat four bold women from the crowd forced their way up and pushing baba aside forcibly took the peg pidi or handle into their hands and singing baba's leela started grinding at first baba was enraged the pop machina to be full of anger but on seeing the women's love and devotion he was much pleased and began to smile while they were grinding they began to think that baba had no house no property no children none to look after and he lived on alms alms bhiksha and therefore he did not require any wheat flour for making bread or roti what will he do with this large quantity of flour perhaps bahusha P R H A P S as baba is very kind he will distribute the flour among us among us as pidimak pambini chestaremo thinking in this way and while singing they finished the grinding and after putting the hand mill aside they divided the four flour into the four portions and began to remove them by taking one portion per head baba who was calm and quiet up till now got wild and started abusing them saying ladies have you gone mad whose father's property are you looting away have i started uh, have i borrowed any wheat from you so that you can safely take the floor now do this take the floor and throw it on the village borders on hearing this the woman felt abashed sigubadaru ye biye sachidi and whispering among themselves tamalo tam gospasal aadukuntunnaru went to the outskirts of the village and spread the floor as directed by the baba I asked the shady people what was this that Baba did. They replied that as cholera epidemic, C-H-O-L-E-R-A, A-P-I-D-E-M-I-C, cholera, mahammari, leda, antuvyadi, was spreading in the village. This was Baba's remedy, R-E-M-E-D-Y, nivarana. For the same, it was not wheat that was grown, but cholera itself was grown to pieces and pushed out to the village. from this time out onward the cholera epidemic subsided s u b s i d e d tagindi and the people of the village were very happy i was much pleased to know all this but at the same time my curiosity was also aroused i began to ask myself what earthly connection was there between the wheat flour and cholera what was the causal relation between the two and how to reconcile r e c o n c i l e parishkarinchu them the incident seems to be inexplicable i n e x p l i c a b l e vivarancharani karanam telavadaniki veelu kaani unable to explain or accounted for i should tell something on this and sing to my heart contents baba sweet leelas thinking in this way about this leela my heart was filled with joy and i was thus inspired to speak baba's life the ba sai satcharita and as we know with baba's grace and blessings this work was successfully accomplished sadhinchan philosophical significance of grinding teragali visaradam lo tatvika pramukhyata apart from the meaning which the people of shirdi put on this incident of grinding wheat there is we think a philosophical significance to baba lived in shirdi in for about 60 years and during this long period he did the business of grinding almost every day not however wheat alone but the sins the mental and physical afflictions a f f l i c t i o n s badalu and the miseries m i s e r i s kashtalu of his innumerable devotees 
the two stones of his mill consist consisted of karma and bhakti the former being the lower and one the and the latter the upper one the handle with the which baba worked the mill consisted of jnana it was the firm conviction nischayam namakam sivayam vai siti ayoya of baba that knowledge or self realization is not possible unless there is the prior act of grinding of all our impulses desires sins and of three gunas which sattva rajas and tamas and the ahankar which is so subtle s u b t l e sukshma maina especially of a change or distinction so delicate or precise as to be difficult to analyze or describe and therefore so difficult to get rid of adlinchukodam this reminds us a similar story of kabir also who seeing a woman grinding corn c o r n mokkajanna said to his guru nipata niranjan i am weeping because i feel the agony of being crushed under this wheel of worldly existence like the corn in the hand mill nipata niranjan replied do not be afraid hold fast to the handle of knowledge of this mill as i do and do not wander far from the same but turn in word to the center and you are sure to be saved bo to sri sai peace to be all srinivaso vijayate